Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? I'm pretty good. I'm glad to see everybody. Okay, well, all right, good. Well, um, actually, I only see, uh, to be truthful, I only see Tamara and Sebastiana, Ursula. Okay, now I see Salvador. Eh, me imagino que, ah, ya, Roberto está de camino. Thank you, Roberto, for connecting. Okay. Uh, do I also see Catherine, Melissa, Diana, Anna, Isela, Anna Luke? Are you are you girls there? Yes, teacher. I am I am here. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Um all right, so let's make sure that I'm asking because uh, we got to make sure that our camera is on. Okay, so uh, make sure always that we have the camera on. So what we're going to do right now, actually, speaking of the camera, I'm going to be taking the attendance. Okay, so... Please tell me if you can... No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Eh, chicos, si ¿sí pueden hacerme el favor de encender sus camaritas, sería excelentísimo. Okay. Because I, we're going to be taking attendance. Entonces, eh, hay muchos que no veo. Eh, les... Ah, y acuérdense también de que tenemos que entrar con un nombre completo. Uh, Melissa Beltran, uh, your camera is off. And also, um, you just have your first name and first last name. So I need you to change to a complete name. Okay. Also, uh, Catherine Nicole, Diana Cristabel, Ana Isela, Ana Ruth Perez, Carlos Ernesto Flores. I need you to turn on your camera. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna start with the um, attendance right now. Ana Isabel Janes. Perdón. Ana Isela. Ana Isela Janes. Um, but necesito, but les vuelvo a repetir. Necesito cámara encendida. Y necesito que contesten present. O sea, no, no podemos contestar solo con, con chat porque les explico. Eh, Insaporpe constantemente monitorea las, las clases. Entonces, mmm, ellos tienen que, cuando ven el video, tienen que ver que usted tiene su cámara encendida y que está contestando que está acá. Entonces, por eso es de que necesito... Um, de que eh, de que encienden su cámara y también contesten de present o presente, ¿ok? Aunque sea para la necesitamos entiendo que a veces están trabajando o están eh, de camino, digamos a casa, pero por lo menos para la asistencia en ese en, en ese momento se necesita que ustedes enciendan cámara y eh, que contestan presente. De lo contrario, no vamos a saber de que usted está allí o no. Ok, entonces, eh, vuelvo a repetir. Ana Isela, Isela Llanes. Present teacher. No puedo okay. encender la cámara por ahorita porque tengo un pequeño inconveniente. Una vez la arregle, yo me lo encenderé, pero okay. estaré escuchando aquí pendiente. Ok, muchas gracias por, eh, por contestar. Okay, thank you very much. Ana Ruth Perez. Present. Okay, wonderful. 
Eh, Ana Ruth, are you having problems with the camera? Le mandé la imagen al chat porque estoy desde el teléfono y no me permite encender. Me dice que no está disponible. Cuando eso pasa normalmente es porque quizás tiene otro, uh, otra aplicación uh, abierta que tiene, eh, que tiene la cámara encendida. Entonces revise que no tenga alguna otra aplicación abierta. ¿Verdad? O otra cosa que puede hacer es reiniciar su dispositivo y volver a entrar al Zoom. ¿Ok? Ok. Eh, thank you. Um, Carlos Ernesto Flores. Hello, good evening. Good evening. All right, we have uh, Diana Crisabel Melendez. Present. Wonderful. Uh, are we, do you have problems with the camera, Diana? Sí, un momento, es que voy llegando a casa. Ya, hay un momento. Okay, eh, solamente para la asistencia puede, puede encenderla para que podamos ver que está allí. All right, perfect. Thank you very much. <clears throat> very good. Thank you. Um, Gerardo Jose Tepas. Present. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much, Gerardo. Um, Jose Mauricio Martinez. I'm here. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Eh, Juana Mar uh, Margarita Sea. Juana Margarita Sea. Okay. Uh, Catherine Suleima Casangre. Catherine Suleima Pucasangre. Okay. Uh, Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present teacher. Okay. Are you having problems with your camera, Catherine? Catherine? I'm working, teacher. You're working. Can you just, is it possible for you to turn on the camera just for the attendance? Catherine, possible? Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Kathy Jordana dos. Uh, Present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Um, Laura Lisset Peña. Laura Lisset Peña. Not here. Okay. Uh, Lorena Araceli Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Melissa Cecilia Beltrán. Present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Melissa. Would you do me a favor? Can you change your name so that it's complete in the platform? Right now we only we only see you as Melissa Beltrán. Uh, Melissa Cecilia Beltrán Torres. Sí, sí, pero es que en la plataforma ahorita aparece solamente como Melissa Beltrán. So I need you to change so that you have a, your name complete. Ok, yo lo complemento, teacher. Ok, perfect. Thank you very much. Eh, Mirna de Mar, eh, de, del Carmen Ruano. Present, teacher. Wonderful, thank you very much. Eh, Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Present. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Roberto Carlos Alparo. Present. Wonderful, thank you very much. Uh, Salvador Antonio Martinez. Present. Wonderful, thank you. So, uh, Sebastián Guadalupe Aguilar. Present. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Tamara Eugenia Aguil Aguilar de uh, Sagastumio. Present, teacher. Wonderful, thank you very much. And finally, Ursula Adriana Burgos Enriquez. Present Excellent, thank you very much. Okay, um, perfect, just give me one moment. Okay, so uh, just a reminder everybody, um, 
I thank you very much for connecting. Um, I know that some of you are still working. Some of you are um, on your way to, to, to your house and you still are connecting to class and thank you very much for that. That's excellent. Um, just that uh, we do need to see your face, especially when we are, that you're saying present so that we know that you are, um, that you're there, right? That, that, uh, that you are, um, that you are the person that is connected, let's say, right? Okay, so that is very, very important. Okay, so we're going to start here with our, um, our class. Can you please tell me if, you can see my screen. Yes. Yes, yes it's fine. Wonderful. Okay. So, um, uh, okay. So, here, yesterday we started talking about um, sports and uh, fitness activities. So, what I want you to do right now. We're going to be, this is only going to be discussing, okay? I want you to tell me which of these sports are more popular or better said, who are the people who practice these sports? So we have a children, that's the first category, children. We have te um, teens. Teens are like um, children between the ages of 13 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Young adults or young adults, which means um, they are people that are like in their 20s, right? 21, 20, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, et cetera, et cetera. Um, 20s, 30s, middle-aged people, so these are people that are in like their 40s, okay? 40s, 50s. And then we have older people that's like usually 60 and above. Okay, do we understand the categories? Yeah. Any questions about yes, the categories? No. Okay. No, no questions? All right, perfect. So we're going to start with the first one, aerobics. This is mm. a, a um, fitness activity. Who is it popular with, aerobics? I guess to everyone, to everybody. Everybody? Everybody yes. does aerobics? Adults, Adults children. Do we understand it's what is aerobics? Uh, young yeah. adult. Yeah, so aerobics is usually like it's a class that you take, right? Yeah. Um, and yeah, normally it's gonna be with like young adults, maybe middle aged people. Yeah, middle aged people, um, perhaps teenagers, but. Children, I'm not sure if children would follow aerobics because aerobics involves a lot of coordination and children usually don't have too much coordination, um, you know, when they're too, too young. Okay, and older people, it's a little bit more difficult for them. Okay, so I would probably say... Um, Teenagers, young adults, and middle-aged people. Okay, baseball. Who is it more popular with? I guess teens and young young adults. Teens, young adults. Is the same um, Yeah, I would say baseball is, is popular with children too, yeah. Okay. All right. Bicycling. Do we understand bicycling? Uh, children? The... Yeah. Okay, so definitely children. Anybody else? 
things. Things too. Yeah. Young adults. Young adults. Adults. Mm. In middle age people. Middle age people. Yeah, could be. Inline skating. Do you understand what is inline skating? No. No? I don't okay. teach you. No? Okay. All right. So let me explain what is inline skating. Inline skating is when um, your skates have like four, uh, four wheels. So you have like a shoe with four wheels. Four mm -hmm. wheels. <laughs> That's inline okay. skating. So who is that popular with? Children. Children. Pants. Children. Children. Pants. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. So we have children. Who else? Teens. Teens. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, young adults. Young adults, okay. All right. Okay. What about soccer? Everyone. Everyone? Everyone? Yeah. You think so? Everybody? Okay. So soccer, we have for children, teens, young the adults, middle-aged uh, people, and older people? Older people. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. So this is not that they can do it. We're talking about if it's popular. Like, so for example, older people, of course they can do aerobics. Of course they can do baseball, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But is it popular with them? That's the question. Is it popular? Okay, next, swimming. Swimming. Mm -hmm. Teens, young adults, and middle-aged people. Teens, young adults, and middle-aged people? Yeah. Yeah, you agree? Everybody agrees? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. What about tennis? Who is it popular with? Well, tennis, it depends. It depends on what? It depends on uh, if you like that kind of sport because it's not for all the people. Right. Uh, so, so who is it more popular with? Which age? For me, young adults. Young adults? Yeah. Oh, middle age people middle-aged people middle-aged okay all right a uh, weight training uh, weight training teens and young middle and young adults sorry teens and young adults yeah that's it Okay. That's my opinion. I don't know right. okay. if everybody thought the same. Okay. All right. What about the rest? Do you agree? Do you agree with Jose Mauricio? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. All right. What about yoga? Who is it, who is it more popular with? And middle-aged people. Middle-aged people? E and young adults. And young adults? Older people, too. Older people, too? Okay. Yeah. yeah, is that it? Yes. Yeah, everybody agrees? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, I so mm -hmm. that yes. people who practice yoga is mm -hmm. that kind of people that probably have some issues 
with stress or pressure. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Could be. Yeah, you're right. It and could be. From the young adult to mm -hmm. old people, uh, that is the group who practice yoga. It's average. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Um, now, if you notice, probably what, like, for example, the group that, that checks all of them apparently is young adults. But the groups that have less are children and older people. So let's talk about children. What sports or fitness activities are popular with children? And I, well, I would like everybody to participate. So you can all give your opinions. Which, which uh, sports or, or fitness activities are popular with children? Bicycling. Bicycling, um, yeah. But, inline but, skating. Right, but but from the ones that are not here, any other sports or activities? Okay, okay, okay. Mm, run, I guess. Running, jogging. Running? Okay, jogging. Anything else that is popular? Uh, basketball. Basketball. It is popular too. Mm -hmm. Good. I would I would like to have everybody um participate so you guys can all give me an idea, especially if you have children. What do your children play or what activities do they do? I think we can add swimming. Swimming, okay. So you think yeah. I you know what I, I actually agree with you. I, I was also thinking the same thing. The children love swimming, I think. They they love swimming. Yeah. Anything else? I maybe I would add also skipping. Yeah. You know? Children love skipping. Do you know do you know skipping? You know the word skipping? Well, so Mauricio, you know the word skipping, right? Yeah, skipping is a play como, uh, like avioncito, I guess. Skipping? Mm, yeah. no. no. Skipping no. is with a with with a with a, a skipping rope, a rope. So. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. What is what is, is what is skipping? What is skipping in Spanish? Skipping, saltar la cuerda. Saltar cuerda, uh -huh, exactly. Cuerda, right? So so I would say that children love to do skipping. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anything else? Any other sports or fitness activities that they like to do? Um I have found also that um uh, they like to Many children like to practice um, martial arts. Mm, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, like, uh, yeah, like judo, karate, um, kung fu. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Jiu jitsu, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. What about elderly people or older people? What we have very little for them. So any other activities that they like to do? Um, well, hiking, mm -hmm. hmm? hiking, hiking, could be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hiking, hiking. So everybody, Give you you can give your opinion. This is open for everybody. Yeah. Uh, dancing. Dancing, yes, absolutely. Yes. So older people love dancing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes and not and this sport and this sport is not for everyone. Mm -hmm. Skydiving. 
older people? No, older people, oh. um, probably fishing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's true. But just concentrate because children and older people are the ones that have less categories. So let's talk about what older people like to do. Well, for example, um, is speaking about um, martial arts. So the children like to do martial arts that are very um, active, like karate, um, eh, kung fu, jitsu, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I find that older people also like martial arts, but a martial art that is less active. For example, Tai Chi. Yeah, meditation. Yeah, so they they um lots of lots of people do Tai Chi. Lots of older people do Tai Chi, right? So, which is also as uh, a martial art, but it's it's much calmer, right? Anything else? Any other activities? Maybe jogging. Could be jogging. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. So now that we talked a little bit about that, let's talk a little bit about the verbs that we use. Okay. Oops, sorry. Okay, so um let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see it better. Okay. There we go. All right. So this vocabulary here, we have aerobics, baseball, by bi uh, bicycling, inline skating, soccer, swimming, tennis, weight training, and yoga. What I want you to do is I want you to categorize these these activities with three different verbs. So we have the verbs are um okay so the verbs are um do go and play for example, you do aerobics, you go bicycling, you play baseball. Now, how do you know which verb to use? Basically, when you do a sport, okay, especially those sports where you have um, like a competitive competition, like you are playing against another uh, one team with the another team, or two people are playing against each other, we usually use the word play. So for example, you play baseball, right? Because baseball, you play with a team, you're against each other, okay? So with those kinds of sports, we, we play, okay? With fitness activities that you do outside, you, you go. For example, go bicycling because those are fitness activities that you do out outdoors, right? Like, okay, so anything you do outside of the house, we would do, you would say go. And do are fitness activities that you do inside. Okay, like do aerobics. Normally, you do aerobics inside, not outside. So you do aerobics. Does that make sense? Mm, yeah. Yeah? Okay. So what I want you to do right now, I am going to be... Um, I'm going to be sending you this um just give me one moment okay so i'm going to be sending you 
this activity in the WhatsApp group. And I'm going to be putting you into breakout rooms so that you can work with a partner and complete this activity. Okay? okay. Does that make sense what we're going to be doing? Okay, yeah. Okay. All right, so I just sent in the group mm -hmm. the exercise. You received it? Not yet. Not yet? No. Mm -hmm. No, you haven't received it yet? No. Mm -hmm. Check it. Check if the right group that you are writing. It should be. Second. You got it? Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Um, I just want to make sure that you're here because um there are like I only can see like I can see like half of the class. So I want to make sure that you're actually here. Porque no de nada sirve que los ponga en grupos si no van a estar ahí presentes. So, um, Oscar Otonien? Yes, I'm here. Okay, so you're going to be participating, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Eh, Lorena Araceli? Lorena Araceli? Yes, you can. Are you going to be participating? Sorry? ¿Va a participar Lorena o no? Que no, no le escucho bien. Yo estoy viendo, teacher, por eso tengo un poco de interferencia oh, del okay. internet. Ok, no hay problema. Entonces, va, ok, muy bien. Eh, Melissa? Yes, teacher. Ok, Melissa va a participar. Yes. Yeah. Ok, bye. Todavía necesito que me cambie su nombre porque eh, aparece ahorita todavía como Melissa Beltrán. ¿Ya sabe cambiar su nombre en la plataforma? En ajustes, me imagino. Es que soy del el teléfono, pero después voy a encender la computadora. No, 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 pero hagámoslo ahorita porque si no, no le va a tomar la asistencia eh, los minutos. Entonces, hagámoslo ahorita. Ok. Váyase a donde dice participantes. Diez segundos. Diez segundos de, de separación. O sea, con... Uf. Elisa, eh, ¿ya ve dónde dice participantes? En la plataforma, pero ahorita, ahorita voy a la plataforma. O sea, en su de, el dispositivo, en su celular, donde dice participantes. En Zoom, en Zoom sí. Ah. Ya ¿Sí? Voy. No, no, no. En la barra de herramientas donde está su micrófono, el, 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 la cámara dice participantes. participantes. Uh, sí. Haga clic ahí y le va a salir También la nombre. lista de participantes, está su nombre y a la par eh, le da, uh, da clic a los tres puntitos y ahí entonces le va a dar la opción de cambiar nombre. Ahora sí, eh, okay. teacher. Perfecto. Ok, there you go. Bueno, eh, Katherine y Nicole, ¿va a poder participar? Catherine Nicole? Okay, creo que no. Diana Isabel? 
Yes, teacher. ¿Va a poder participar? Sí. Ok, ah, sí, sí, es que ya, ya me acordé que usted está en dos dispositivos. Ok, uh, Ana Isela. Ana Isela. Ana Isela no está. Ok, entonces... Well, okay, so I'm going to open up the rooms right now, and here we go. Eh, José Mauricio, José Mauricio está ahí, okay. Y represente una competición. Or go. Entonces sería play baseball. Correct. Así es, compañero. El siguiente sería bicycling. Dijo que go. todo lo que estás afuera, pues este, tendría que ser, ajá, correcto. Go. Go. Go bicycling. Inline skating. Que es como, como skate, es como patineta. Pero con patines, de línea. Ah, entonces sería siempre go. Sí. Ok. Go in line city. Mm -hmm. Ok, soccer, play soccer, sí. Play soccer. Mm -hmm. okay. swimming. Go swimming. Go. Correcto. Play tennis. Uh -huh. Weight training. Weight. Uh -huh. Dijo, dijeron ayer que era como levantamiento de pesas. Se puede hacer desde casa o no? O, o sí. en el gimnasio. Both. Puede Yo ser do, do and go. Hi. Hola. 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 Bueno, no. Estamos eh. en el dilema, ya no sabíamos que iba a estar usted en este grupo. <risa> ya avanzamos bastante, pero estamos en el dilema con weight training. Si uh, do weight training o do weight training. Do weight training. Ok, ya vi que uh -huh. usted sabe mucho. <risa> Es que creo que lo, que lo que está costando un poquito a nosotros, a algunos, es quizás saber que la clase es totalmente en inglés. <ríe> Pero eh, nada más de educar el oído. Sí, lo que pasa es también a veces que no, no, pues, como que se me... Tengo todavía, no tengo la habilidad de, de pensar en inglés todavía, entonces... Creo que todos, yo soy igual. Yo lo que hago es ver series y, y escuchar música en inglés para... Y me también educando. Y lo que hago también es poner la, la letra de las canciones para irla aprendiendo and, un poco. And, and the, the more that you, you, you work on this, Tamara, the more you, you, you practice English, the easier it will become. So, um, even though it's difficult, and I know, I totally understand that it's not an easy thing to learn a different language. But the more you do it, the easier it becomes. 
thank you teacher i am like blocked because i think i can understand almost everything in english and um, but um when i try to to, to talk speak. with someone or speak with yeah. someone and uh, i am <laughs> like what como <laughs> era yeah and it's normal but it, but it's because it, you don't have enough practice right um so the yeah, more right. practice you do it will become easier for you i promise you it's going to become easier okay, okay? You. so you just have to uh be patient with yourself okay okay mm -hmm. yeah but you're doing good all right go ahead guys continue and i um, will go sit one. to the other group thank you the last one is yoga. Do yoga. yoga. Es patinaje. Okay. Entonces sería este, como, por ejemplo, quiero ver. Do o go. Hacer patinaje. Do do online. Skating. Skating. Okay. Okay, play soccer. Go swimming. Go swimming. Play tennis. Mm -hmm. Way training is como. Teacher, si pude participar en el en el grupo, en la sala, perdón, con los con los de mi grupo pude practicar. Excellent, very good, very very good. Okay, we're gonna wait for everybody to come back. Okay. All right, so here we go. Let's check. Um, let's check the answers. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's write. So aerobics, we do aerobics, right? Baseball. Yeah. What do we do with baseball? Play. We play, play baseball, right? Which is right here. Basically, what do we do with basically? Go. Go. We go bicycling. That's why it's here. Okay. Inline skating. Go. 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 Very good. Because we do it outside, right? Yeah. We we do it yeah outdoors. Soccer. What do we do with soccer? Play. Play. Good. We play soccer because it, it's a competitive sport. Right? Okay. Swimming. What do we do with swimming? Go. go. We go swimming because because swimming is an activity that we usually do outdoors, right? We go swimming. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, swimming can be a uh, competition sport too. Yes. Yes, it can, but it's it's not a sport. It's an it's a fitness activity. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. So it, we only play with sports. Okay. And all the 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 fitness activities either you do it or you go. Okay. Okay. All right. Tennis. Play. Play. Yes, play. because this one is a sport. So you play tennis. Okay? Yeah. Uh, weight training? Do. Do. Yes. Okay, because normally we do weight training 
indoors. With many of these activities, like for example, weight training, if you want, you can have a gym outside, right? You can do weights outside, but most of the time you do it indoors. So that's why you do it. Yeah. You do weight training. And yoga? Do. Again, yeah. Do yoga. Um, because again, you can do yoga outside, but we normally do this. Uh, you do yoga indoors. Yeah. Okay. In a quiet and, place. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other questions that you have? No. No, it's all okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's continue then. And I'm going to stop sharing. And please tell me if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay. All right, so we have this conversation here. Uh -huh. It says, I hardly ever exercise. So I want you to listen and repeat after me. You're okay. really fit, Paul. You're really fit, Paul. Everybody, you're really fit, Paul. You're, you're really, really fit, fit Paul. Paul. Really fit, Paul. Okay. Do, you, do you exercise a lot? Do you do exercise, exercise a lot? Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always. Well, 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 I almost, well, almost, well almost, almost always get up early. 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 And lift weights. And I lift and weights. I lift weight. For an hour. For, For an, an hour. hour. Seriously? 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 Sure. 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 And, and then I often go. And then, and then I often go. go. Inline skating. Inline skating. Inline skating. Wow. Wow. Um. How often do you exercise like that? Yeah. How often do you exercise like that? How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. Yeah. About five times a week. A week. About five times a week. What about you? 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 Oh. oh, I hardly ever exercise. Oh, oh I hardly I ever exercise. exercise. I usually just watch TV. I, I usually just watch, watch TV, TV in my free time. In my free time. In my free time. My free time. Mm -hmm. I, guess I guess I'm a real. I guess I'm a real. I guess I'm a real. Couch potato. Couch potato. Couch potato. All right. Do you have questions about the vocabulary? Uh, leave weight. What it means? Uh, okay. So you know weight training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same. Is weight training is the activity, uh -huh. like the 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 fitness activity. And mm -hmm. lift weights is the verb. Okay. So lift is levantar. And weights, okay. peso. So basically, lift weights is levantar pesos. Okay. Peso. But in weight training is levantamiento de peso. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good. Any other questions? Coach or mm -hmm. dater. Okay, so this is not coach, but couch. Couch potato. Okay, can you repeat? Couch potato. Couch potato. 
Mm -hmm. And what it means is it's a person that always stays um, at, um, at home watching TV and sitting on the couch doing nothing. So they just they just sitting on the couch, right, on the sofa, watching TV, and they don't do anything, no activity. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? It's a kind of lazy people. Yeah, yeah they're lazy. They just, the, the only activity that they like to do is watch TV, and that's not, that's not exercise. <laughs> Yeah, and the, you usually call it a couch potato because they it's like they sit there doing nothing like like a like a potato, and also they like to just sit on the sofa eating. That's it. That's all you do. Any other, any other questions? So we understand this vocabulary. It's all clear for you. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. And the pronunciation is also clear? Yeah. Yes, yeah? teacher. Okay. All right. In that case, guys, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be practicing this uh, conversation with um, our a partner. Okay. I have sent in the group the, the conversation, and I'm going to put you into pairs for you to practice, okay? Okay. Um, I just want to make sure that Okay, let's, yeah. All right, so here we go. I'm going to open the roof, roofs right now. Okay. Yes. Quiero ver. Ah, ya la tengo. Entonces yo soy María y usted es Pau. Mm -hmm. Okay, try to keep it in English, guys, okay? Okay. All right, go for it. Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real coach potato. Okay. Ahora cambiamos. Sí. You are really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in like skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five. Bueno, ahora voy a ser amarillo. Okay. You really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in light skating. Well, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am real coach potato. Okay. Practice again. <laughs> um, you really fit, Paul. Do you? Act
Okay, so we have, <clears throat> so we have a very uh, descriptive a uh, picture there of what a couch potato is, okay? So I think you guys can see that, right? Okay. So just um, before we finish off, I want to explain some things to you. So we're looking in, in this conversation, if you notice, um, we use words like that indicate um, uh, the frequency of something, okay? So some of the words that are very um, are very useful and um, that we're going to be see seeing a lot when we are talking about how frequent we do things are words like always. What is always in Spanish? Siempre. 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 Almost always. Casi siempre. Casi siempre. Usually. Usualmente. Usualmente. Often. A menudo. A menudo. Sometimes. Algunas veces. Algunas veces. Algunas veces. Hardly ever. Casi, Casi nunca. nunca. Casi nunca. Eh, almost never. Eh. Nunca. Era entre dos, creo yes, que era I don't know. claramente. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. Hardly ever is more like rara vez. Rara vez. Okay. Rara vez. And almost never is more like is casi nunca. And never? Nunca. 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 So if you notice, um basically this is going like from here, it's going upwards, right? The more frequent you do something, it's going to be going up, okay? And okay. usually what happens is that we put these words, um, like, oh, sorry. Um, we put these words like ever, often, sometimes, a hardly ever, a never, we put them after the subject. In this case, you, I, 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 I. It's usually after subject and before the verb, like watch, okay? And the verb is always going to be in the in the, what's it called, in, in the original form. No change, there's no change to the verb, okay? There's no change. No, you, even if it's if it's he or she, we don't change it. We don't put, for example, watches. No, it's gonna be in the original form, okay? Now, the exception to this rule here is gonna be the word sometimes, because sometimes, we can put it be we can put it after the subject or in some cases we can if you want you can put it before the subject like here so you can say i sometimes watch or sometimes i watch that's the exception okay does that make sense yes yeah yeah Okay, and the, that is when we have frequency adverbs. So when they are short, but if they are long, like every day, like every day, once a week, twice a month, three times a year, often or much, when we have words like this that are longer we put them um um we put them at the end okay does that make sense yes teacher so normally they go after the subject but 
except for the, the sometimes that can go either before the subject or after. And um, with long adverbs of uh, sorry, with long frequencies, we put them at the end. Okay. All right, guys. So that is all for today. That's um, all our class. And um, let me just quickly take attendance. Ana Isela. Here, teacher. Ana Ruth Perez. Here. Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto. Diana Cristabel. Present. Gerardo Jose. Tepas. Here. Here. Jose, Jose Mauricio Martinez. I'm still here. Juana Mar Margarita Sea. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present teacher. Catherine Jor perdón, Katy Jordana Dos Cruz Cruces. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Laura Lisa Peña. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Melissa Cecilia Beltrán. Here. Mina del Carmen Ruano. Mina del Carmen Ruano. Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Present. Ok. Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Present. Excellent, Roberto Carlos. Yes, oh, no, sir. Um, aquí estoy, I'm here. <laughs> ah, ok. Thank you. Salvador Antonio Martínez. Present. Sebastián Guadalupe, perdón, Sebastián Guadalupe Aguilar. Present, teacher. Tamara Eugenia Aguilar. Present. And Ursula Adriana Burgos. Present, teacher. Okay. Bueno, chicos, eh, that will be all for today. And I would see you tomorrow, okay? So okay. please uh, make sure that you work on the platform and see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night.